Hi guys, well today I was thought I'd do a um, a movie night because a lot of people have been sort of doing these videos recently and I've, I've always wanted to sort of jump on that bandwagon. But um, there's been a little twist to mine because I'm, it's not going to be actually in the night, it's going to be now in the day because um, the day's always a better time for me to watch more movies because, you know, I don't have to worry about getting tired and sort of, you know, turning off a little bit. So it's actually in the morning now, it's just coming up to 10am 10, 10 and I've, I've got three films lined up that I really, really want to see. And I don't know why I've avoided these films, I don't know why I haven't seen them, you know, it's um, all a bit weird why I haven't seen them actually, but um, the first one is a film that I've been dying to see ever since I saw Gravity last year. Um, um, I've been sort of going through um, Alfonso Cuadron's um, filmography, and I saw um, his, was it his first film? I think it was his first, what was it? One of his first films, anyway, um, Why to Mama Tambien, and that was a um, his Mexican film, that was in a foreign language, and I didn't like it at all. Um, I actually kind of hated it. Um, yeah, I, obviously, I know a lot of people love it. It's definitely got an audience, but I've, you know, I've looked on several websites, and um, the reviews are generally really, really amazing, not very good at all, horrible. And um, I was in the sort of really horrible camp. I, di I didn't like it at all. Um, there was just a certain um, mood that the film had, and um, it, I, I, di I didn't find any of the characters to be um, likable at all. And obviously, you don't need like protagonists to you know enjoy it. But um, th there was something there wasn't some there was something quite wrong with the screenplay, and it, it didn't work with me at all, N not at all. Um, I didn't like the ending. I, I, d I didn't like any of it really. I, I, th I thought it was wonderfully shot by uh, Emmanuel Levesky, but he's my favorite DP, so. You know, his films always look wonderful, um, and that's all I can really think of it, really. Um, good things to say about it. Um, the acting was good, I suppose, but, yeah. It wasn't my type of film, so I thought, right, um, I don't want to only leave, like, gravity in this film. So, I, I, you know, I went through more of his films, and, you know, I saw a couple more. And um, then I came across a film that I was so shocked that I hadn't seen. I've been, you know, it's been floating around the internet for ages, you know, it's, um, you know, nearly, nearly ten years old. It's eight years old this year. And, you know, I saw The Steelbook and HMV and, you know, don't buy Steelbooks anymore, but I sort of saw it, you know, I thought, this is, um, and I had no idea it was directed by Alfonso Cuaron. Um, but as soon as I knew it was, I thought I'd, um, watch it. So that is Children of Men, so that's the first film I'm going to watch. Um, don't know how I haven't seen this film. Baffling. Um, always wanted to see it, but, um, yeah. This is the time where I'm going to see it, I think, um... From I don't I don't really know too much about it. Um, I, I think I think it's about um, Clive Owen's character, and he has to protect this woman who's the last um, person alive giving birth, and um, he has to sort of protect her from danger, something like that. I, I don't I don't know. Um, but um, that's that's the sort of impression I've got, and you know, what people have said. So um, yeah, um, let's watch it. So I've just got done watching Children of Men, and I have to say, I thought that was absolutely wonderful. Um, I thought it was an absolutely fantastic film. Um, I was I was actually quite stunned by how good it was. Um, I loved the um, the story of it. I mean, I, uh, I you know I guess what the story was like, um, and I got it quite quite spot on. But there's a lot more to it um, than what I said, um, you know, a couple of minutes ago. Um, you know about this um, Clive Owen's character Theo. He has to um, look after this woman who's um, the last female on Earth that is fertile, and um, she's the last pregnant woman, the first birth in 18 years after the, um, a boy that had died, and he was the youngest person alive, and he died early on in the film. So she um, is now giving birth to the youngest person alive, and she's the only one who's pregnant, the, or the only one they think is pregnant in the world. And um, he must protect the only hope of saving humanity, and it's an absolutely fantastic film. And I think the real crucial film uh, element for this film to work is the acting, and the acting is first rate. It's absolutely fantastic by Clive Owen. Um, I mean, it's a little bit, I was looking at the uh, front cover, and it's a little bit misleading saying um, Julianne Moore in the, um, you know, on the credits, because she's in it for about, what, four minutes screen time, probably. So, yeah, that's a bit misleading, but um, she is in um, probably the best scene in the whole film. Uh, and, I'll, you know, it's an, it's an absolutely fantastic film. And I watch the um, special features as well, or well, some of them anyway. And it's this, um, it's this whole set piece where you've got the... Um, I've got 
five characters in the car. You've got Clavon's character. You've got the um, the young girl that's um, the young pregnant girl. You've got another woman, and you've got Julianne Moore, and you've got um, Chiwetel Ejiofor's in this as well. And he's he's the driver in the car, and it's this incredible set piece um, where you've got the driving along the road, and um, it's all it's one take, and they've got the camera um, inside the car, and um, it's just a seamless seems flow um, between the characters and this um is this um, part where the um where this car comes down this um hill because they're in the middle of a woods um and it's something they, they reverse and then there's these load of load of these um sort of people just chucking stuff at the car. It's this incredible action sequence and it's all done in one take. And um well I say that it's done in six takes but it's edited so seamlessly together that it just looks like one um one just what one cut and um it, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's um, it's one of the best um set pieces um of the twenty first century. Um it's, it's it's an incredible, credible um scene and it's uh, wonderfully directed and um beautifully shot. And um yeah, that's it's it's, it's absolutely incredible. And um yeah, and you, through that, throughout the whole film, you have these amazing long takes. Um, obviously, um, Afonso Cuarón's uh, known for that. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of a, it's his trademark now. Actually, it's sort of becoming that. Um, where he just he loves these long takes, and I love them as well. I think I think um a lot of directors need to adopt this skill. Um, or, the, or they don't have it. One one of the two, but they need to have it because it is a wonderful way of shooting a film. Because you really just follow these characters, and you see everything that's happening. And there's this one scene that really got me actually. Um, uh, there's this one scene where blood goes on the lens, and um, I was reading up on the uh, FAQ on the IMDb, and um, there's this. I was I was I was looking. And I thought, is this blood gonna go, or is it gonna stay for the rest of the film? I liked it. I really liked it. I thought it made it look really realistic. I think it looked brilliant, but they actually had to remove it in um, post production because Alfonso Cuarón said that um, while the blood looked good. Um, you know, we didn't want it to be for the rest of the film, so um, they. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember when it when it came off though, because I sort of must have like blinked or something, and it came off. But um, yeah, they removed the blood um, in post production, so you know, later on, so it didn't have to be for the whole film. But um, yeah, it's, it was it's an app, it's a masterfully executed film, um, wonderful piece of work, and um, it's 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 one of the best I've seen in a while. It's really really impressive. So that's um. Children of Men, uh, look wonderful on Blu-ray. Definitely watch it. And it's also got Michael Caine in a very, very, very interesting role. Really, really liked his performance in this film. He wasn't doing the just the typical Michael Caine performance. Um, obviously, he was in a way, but brilliant, brilliant in this film. All-star cast, absolutely fantastic. Please, 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 please watch Children of Men. It's an absolutely fantastic film. So next up, a uh, film I'm going to watch is um, a film that... I don't know why it's avoided me. Um, I suppose a lot of people have sort of put me off it, which is weird because um, it was really, really highly acclaimed. Highly acclaimed, but um, people were saying that it was really overrated, and um, you know, I thought, right, am I gonna just think this is overrated? And you know, but I thought, you know, give it my own opinion, give my own thoughts on it. So um, I'm gonna be watching *The Hurt Locker* by Catherine Bigelow. So um, yeah, this won a whopping six Oscars, which I had no idea about. So that's that's very, very impressive. And, um, yeah, so I thought I'd watch it, um, it's with, uh, Jeremy Renner, um, who I, who I do like, I think he's a very good actor, and, uh, let's watch it. So there we go, just got done watching, um, The Hurt Locker, and I thought it was very, very, very good. Um, I'm not quite sure where people are getting overrated from, actually, um, I thought it was, I thought it was absolutely stunning, I thought it was a brilliant film. Um, and again, very, very well acted, um, by, uh, the... The lead cast, and now found out, um, you know who's really the lead cast. Um, you got Guy Pearce at the beginning, um, and the amazing, amazing, um, sort of now iconic set piece where um, you've got this. Um, he's in the um, you know the, the bomb squad suit, and um, he's running away from the explosion. It's in stunning slow motion. It looks absolutely wonderful. And um, so yeah, he's in the beginning, but um, you know he's he's in it for about you know sort of five minutes maybe. Um, I didn't spot David Morse actually. Apparently he's in this. I don't know. I didn't, didn't really spot him actually. Oh, I'm seeing. I'm seeing him on the back now. All oh, right, he's at the beginning as well. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. I didn't notice him the first time I saw it. 
Yeah, but really the main the main stars are Jeremy Renner and Anthony Mackie, and um, yeah, so they're, they're the two main stars really, and um, and it's essentially about um, Jeremy Renner who replaces Guy Pearce's character at the beginning, and uh, the other two people um, in in the sort of um, group that he's in, and um, one of them's Anthony Mackie. They don't like him much. They think he's a very sort of um, you know, he's very sort of uh, a bit too um. All out there, bit bit um, bit too sort of arrogant in a way. He's a, he's a very sort of um, bit too brave for his own good. His own, his own sort of he's playing too much of a hero sort of thing and um, risking their lives and risking his life. Although they they don't care too much about his life. In fact, at one point they nearly um, they contemplate killing him. Um, they really don't like him at all. And um, you know we sort of follow his character throughout the film. And um, I thought I kind of liked him actually. Um, I, I mean at the beginning it was a little bit. Yeah, I'm not too keen on you. I was sort of with the characters, but then um, as the film, as an to move forward, um, I, th- I began to like him. I thought he was a very sort of um, uh, interesting character. I, th- I really liked his arc in it, and um, I mean, it's it's wonderfully done. Um, Catherine Bigelow's a very very fine director. Um, incredible that she won um, best director, first female director to win an Oscar, which is very very impressive, and um, it, it's it's wonderful. I thought I thought it was very very good. Um, yeah, very good. I I I don't quite know why people hate on this film. Um, I mean, critics dig it. I mean, I think it's got like a ninety-seven percent Rotten Tomatoes rating. It's got, you know, it's got very good um, um, critic score. But uh, I don't know. Audience don't seem to really like it as much. I don't know. Um, no, I don't know. I don't, I I really liked it. I thought it was brilliant. And um, yeah, as I also said, the uh, the sound work was very very impressive as well with the um, you know sort of the guns and explosions. I thought it was very good, wonderful film. I heard Locker said two brilliant films so far. Let's hope that the third film is just as good and no different. And hopefully it won't be because it's by one of my favourite directors, uh, Richard Linklater, who did uh, the Before trilogy, did um, this year's Boyhood. Um, I still do consider. Um, before Sunrise and Before Sunset and Before Midnight, his best films. Um, and there's some people say Boyhood now. I still do consider those um, films his best. Um, I also like Slacker, his first film. I thought it was an interesting film. It's definitely flawed, um, but it was it was an interesting film. Sort of, you know, no narrative, just followed these just random people going through their lives. And uh, he also did um, he did a couple of films, Fast Food Nation. Is that what it's called? Thought it was good. Um, again, had some problems, but um, I think you know the fact that he did the before films is um, uh, equal, uh, immediately makes him one of the best directors, especially where today. But um, I haven't seen Days of Confused, and I'm not too sure why. Um, sort of avoided me, I suppose. Um, you know, like some films do, like Children of Men and the Hurt Locker did. But um, I've always wanted to see it, and um, yeah, let's watch it. So just got done watching Data Confused, and I have to say, not the best way to end it. Um, I didn't really like this film, and um, I'm really, really disappointed because you know I just watched two brilliant, brilliant films, and um, we're sort of ending with a two-star film. Um, and I know I'm probably going to be in the majority here. It it did nothing for me. Um, I I really sort of wanted to like it because it had the same sort of style that and um, same. If, you know the sort of um, trademark link later style, just following these characters, normal conversations, but uh, none of the characters were connected at all, and it's weird because they're more sort of my age than sort of um, uh, uh, Celine and Jesse in uh, the Before trilogy. So I don't know why I connected with them more than uh, young people in this film, but yeah, did nothing for me. Um, I was really really disappointed with it. Um, it did nothing, and, and I'm not, I can't really describe why I don't like it because it's just the characters weren't interesting. Because it's not m- that much to the film. It's not like it had sloppy, sloppy, slo- sloppy directing or anything. No, n- nothing like that. It was just I didn't really like the script or anything. I just thought it was a little bit sluggish, especially towards the beginning. Just thought, right, what's happening? Uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was. I'll be selling this, and I'm really disappointed to say that. Really disappointed. It's kind of heartbreaking, actually. <laughs> You know, I really wanted to sort of thought I was going to end on a good note. Uh, you know, great link later film. No, sorry, it wasn't. Yeah. Days are confused. I know a lot of people love it. All power to you, you know. It's another film that you like that I don't, but 
I just couldn't get on with this film, so uh, I'll be selling it probably. So yeah, um, well, I'm still very glad with the films I did watch, because I watched um, two brilliant, brilliant films, and um, two very, 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 very good films, and um, yeah, a bit disappointing, but um, let's try and get these, there we go. So that's the three films I've watched, um, started with Children of Men, fin uh, then The Hurt Lock, and finished with Days of Confused, so uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.